in Russia. Okay, I don't care about that. All right, let's Hopes watch of this. Reaching social and cultural gaps between Asia and the world. That's why we conduct all these street interviews that are super difficult to execute because we believe that it's always best to hear directly from the people to take the accurate pulse of the public, regardless of what they believe or how well informed or ill informed they may be. Well, today's topic is something that we've been repeatedly asked to cover. As the US China relations continue to deteriorate, the issue of Taiwan just keeps popping up. But let's be honest, most of us have absolutely no idea what's going on in Taiwan or what Taiwanese people are thinking. Isn't that the job of the media to find out? So our team was able to hit the streets of Taipei and ask ordinary Taiwanese people what they think of China. Again, if you still didn't know, we do not have any political affiliations. We're not left or right. We're not pro or Hell anti yeah, anything. None of that pussy shit. You know shit. what we are? Curious. Just like so many young people around the world who genuinely wants to learn and understand what's going on in Asia through people's voices. So here we go. What should the U.S. be doing about uh, the Taiwanese conflict? Shut the fuck up about it and, and don't rock the boat. That's what they should be doing about it. But they can't. They can't stop it. They have to. They have to, like... They have to fucking, uh, they, they recognize Chinese dominance. They don't like it. And there's, they're going to use anything and everything they can. Uh, uh, Xiang 立场跟方式都大家可以接受这样子就是我们目前台湾就是讲蓝绿嘛呃同意就是现阶段是支持维持现状然后未来的目标就是统一那绿的话呢就是比较支持独立好台湾当地的媒体其实有很多不同的角度但是我个人看完之后其实台湾的媒体传递的讯息很多是扭曲而是 this new Austin Ox? POV, you posted about a 35-year-old man who wanted to fuck high schoolers because of their lack of sexual experiences on Twitter.com. What are you going to do about it, bro? I mean, come on. What's the FBI going to do about it? Apparently, legal age is illegal. Hassan being boring, old, shitty garbage as always. I don't even like the fucking problematic age gap discourse, but come the fuck on. There's a reason why he only said 18 and 19 and didn't say... Uh, uh, another age group that that exact same principle fucking applies to, okay? People get so mad about this shit, dude. Jesus Christ. People making jokes about MBB turning 18 and saying the wildest shit's so sketchy and unfunny. What? Oh, 
Also, he personally hit on a 17-year-old or 16-year-old. I don't know if she was 17 or 16 on Twitch.tv. So there was that too. Uh. What do you think about 18-year-old porn stars? Should the limit be higher? Here's what I'm saying, okay? I'm not talking about, like, fucking the problematic age gap. What I think is fucking weird and gross about what he's saying is the reasoning behind it. Because the reasoning behind why he thinks, like, young girls are hot is literally the same exact reason that you, he, in certain instances, at least in practice, is applied to a 17 or 16-year-old, okay? It's the innocence, the innocence. Hello? You get it? And to be fair, like, there's no way to describe that uh, without coming across like a gigantic fucking weirdo unless you're also 18 or 19. Got it? Understand it? Alright,我们继续。而且都是某层面上看起来根本就是违法的。而且违反是中华民国的法律嘛。其实大部分的媒体到现在目前为止都搞不清楚我们目前真正的国号叫中华民国。英文叫Republic of China, of China. So it is a China, but they don't want it. 所以大部分人都搞不太清楚这件事情非常平衡的报道啦因为身为一个国家领导人我觉得太激进太冲的话呃,officially独立。对我来说,我觉得跟中共的密切关系绝对是能带来经济很好的成长。但是我又不希望台湾原有的这个民风淳朴的这个好的文化被他们破坏掉,因为我非常知道,如果他们统治了之后会变怎么
And it's true. It is incredibly authoritarian. There is no, make no mistake on that. Okay. And that is precisely the reason why so many people are like, no, fuck that. Of course, that would mean doom and gloom for us. Okay. Oh my God, you admit it. Wait, what? Dude, I feel like people never hear what I ever say. Like, people never fucking hear what I say and just assume what my positions are and just go along with it and then get mad. And then when I regularly and routinely admit things that I have said time and time again, you're like, what? Would you ever travel to China? Fuck yes, I absolutely would. Yeah, I would love. I would love for that. Kind of as I'm mad. Bit shay. Sana salat is mad. I'm still in a hype. Idina. Okay. All right. Let's go. Oh, these are very good food. Then, yeah, I'm still watching. If Hong Kong is really turned into something very scary, or if Xinjiang is already in the red, then Xinjiang is really scary. Then I'm still watching. Then I'm still watching. 还在看香港这样，我觉得台湾一定是独立的国家，我们就是一个独立的小岛，但我也不会、就是。This is the will you say Putin is bad discourse all over again? Yeah. Notice how like the fucking foreign policy heads are the most annoying chatters too, because like they always abide by the same exact fucking tactics. If China stops its threats the very next day, I would bet most Taiwanese persons will be shouting, "We are Taiwanese from rooftops. We are already independent. We just can't say it because of a big bully." Sure. How do you understand what they're saying? I don't speak Taiwanese. Oh, good one, dude. 就是，我也我也不是所谓的台独立场。我觉得其实维持现状也蛮好的，因为我们现在该有的权利或者是什么。然后国际 CPC claims the reason for Chinese social control is to defend themselves from U.S. interference. What's your response to this? I mean, it's the same as like fucking Cuba. It's the same as、uh, all of these other countries that we have declared authoritarian. And there is authoritarianism in that kind of social control. Obviously, I am a I am a uh, 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 preferer. Okay, my preference is the neoliberal method of control, the creating the idea that there is like some kind of free flow of information and 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 you know free information wins out ultimately. Right? I believe that. I love that. That's what I advocate for. Okay. But the reality, ultimately, confirmed neoliberal. Yeah, I mean, this is this is another admission. Oh my God, something I've been saying for many, many fucking years. <sighs> um, so that is my personal preference because, like, I I am, I am a,、uh, a socially liberal person, right? So I obviously believe in in、uh, you know degeneracy, hedonism, all that good stuff. And I do think that that is a great way to、uh, keep the population、uh, calm. And a lot of you dumb bitches, unironically, fucking exist in that society and constantly shit on it because you have this like mythologized fantasy fucking worldview of like what it would look like if there was authoritarian control where they cast all your enemies into the fucking fire. You know what I mean? Call me a dumb bitch one more time. <laughs> okay, dumb bitch. Actually, it's also quite recognized our existence. Taiwan has already become a self-sufficient country. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already have our own rules and regulations. It's that we already 这个 statement 跟这个 theory 到底是哪里来的？就算在目前民进党执政的状况底下，中华民国宪法也从来没有动过一分一毫啊。他的他的疆域也是非常清楚的啊。我们的宪法也没有改名，自己就要变成中华民国台湾。所以你觉得？所以你个人觉得 ？He's about to say, I think Taiwan is a part of China because Taiwan is the Republic of China. He keeps saying it's the Republic of China. 台湾是中国的一部分，是吗？呃，应该说两岸是中华民国的一部分。嗯、呃，因为我觉得我们也没有太。
Yeah. No, he's saying like China is West Taiwan. Like there is no, there is no, there is no difference. Like that's how it is. Believe it or not, that's the real take. No, I know. I do believe it. What do you mean? I know. I know that that's the take. I don't know why people fucking unironically think that that's not the case, but that doesn't mean anything because like there are people who are, who feel that way, feel that like that's the unification. That's a real unification. Okay. But he, that, that position is not like, uh, yeah, I, w- I wouldn't say that that's like a very popular position. Um, but I do think that that is a position that is, is as he stated, uh, uh, isn't it it's still the, isn't it still the position in, within its constitution? Left is saying base, then you wonder why people saying this chat is lib. No, people are saying that this is base because they don't understand what the fuck uh, the man is explaining because they don't have anything, much like Americans. Congratulations, you've successfully turned 48% of chat against you for one nuance take and another 48 against you for a different nuance take. Us and the remaining 4% are not going to remain silent and say nothing, but we don't suffer too much from the reads you're about to receive.那你覺得台灣有多少人的想法會是跟你一樣的? 其实中国大陆我觉得这几年发展的真的是很厉害需要很加强然后第二个是第二个是厌恶第三个是恐惧因为当这个政权对有人会说你要把这个政权跟下面的人分开但是当这个政权他一直你 think China is better than the US in terms of infrastructure and healthcare? I mean, I can't, I don't, I can't speak for healthcare, but infrastructure, yes. What? The fuck? Yeah, dude, it's like not even a question. What the fuck? Like we're not even fucking up. This is not even a, a like a up for debate. Like American healthcare is pretty dog shit too, but it's not like um healthcare is is not exactly uh, uh, wonderful in China either. Um but uh, but as far as infrastructure, bro, yes, <laughs> yeah, like that's not even a question. 整天到晚在威脅你,整天到晚在跟你說要打過來的時候,你很難不對他產生防衛心,你很難會想要說我也要去了解你。那很多人會說我們的文化上很相近,像我們講一樣的語言啊,然後其他也有很多類似的習俗
，以目前的政治论述来说，他是没有资格讲他自己是台湾人，因为我们都是汉人啊。大部分人台湾目前的所谓本省人，都不是本省人，真正的本省人是原住民啊。就如同美国人在美国人在屠杀印第安人的时候，然后唐人皇帝就把美国人灌在自己头上，是一样的道理啊。就是说把这些人人口全部干掉了，以后主体就变成我了。所以这个我觉得还是主要台湾现在的问题啊，这才是真正转型正义要讨论的事情。就我认同，我们都是一个华人大家庭，我们是一个种族，我们应该 help each other， 我们要 gather。我们在我们在经济上或者说是政治上，我们都应该要互相合作，在帮彼此。像最近有一个电影叫《上气》。他虽然是中国人， oh、他们也想要打入中国市场，但是作为我是台湾人，我看到一个华人英雄出来的时候，虽然很明显他们是讲的亲共，但是我自己内心我还是觉得说，哦、oh, ，I'm so proud of it， 就是我是一个华人，我可以有我们还可以当 Marble 英雄这种感觉。嗯，我的看法是不见，就是说大家一直在强调什么 ？He said they're one race. What do you mean? They 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 are though. What the fuck? Like. I mean, technically, they are. They're Chinese, bro. Like, what? What do you? Are you just like? I hate to fucking agree with like the fucking. Uh, uh, it's actually. I mean, Han is an ethnicity. Okay, well, they're they're. As far as racial dynamics goes, yes, they're they're Asian. And as far as ethnicity goes, they're in many instances they're just they're, you know, they're Chinese. Taiwan is ROC is built on the repression and oppression by KMT and thus inherently reactionary. Look at white terror. Why are you getting upset about that? Language, race, but. 嗯，并不，并不一定就是讲同样的，呃，国语，就是说普通话或者是国语，就是。You said Han Chinese, not Chinese, bro. You are not being real, Lamau. Okay, Han Chinese. 一定是一个同一个国家。那，嗯。There are indigenous people in Taiwan. 加拿大，他们也是讲英文，不是吗？那跟美国的之间的一个关系，就是，所以我我一直在我我一直觉得说。They think the Chinese nation is one race made up fifty-six ethnic groups united by Han culture. It's very scary. What would you rather have it be as? And I'm not saying this is a contentious, uh, in in a contentious way, but I do wanna I do wanna know like what your what is your why is it like. Taiwan belongs to Albania. Changed an ethnic policy in 2017 away from a Soviet-style policy of ethnic. They changed the ethnic policy in 2017 away from a Soviet-style policy of ethnic autonomy. <sighs> You're still not describing what would uh, what like what looks different. The Han Chinese raises an OP though. It was always an amalgamation of various other ethnic Asian peoples used as a propaganda to fortify their nationality. No, it is their way of centralizing power. In Turkey, we had uh, alt kimlik. That was like the the comparison, which of course was also quite controversial. Which is uh, the claim that like you are Turkish, no matter what, right? You're Turkish. But you have other underlying like ethnic separations. You can abide by those cultures, but ultimately you're still Turkish at the end, right? And it was obviously uh, against the Kurdish population. Um, in the United States of America, we don't even think about it at all because every fucking every every single culture. Assimilates into American culture, which is an amalgamation of all of these other cultures, and it is never seen as like a contentious subject. 
by the third generation, every single fucking person that has immigrated into the United States has become an American. Okay? The only distinction of who is not an American is made on the boundaries of your skin color, exactly, or some of the uh, ethnic differences that oftentimes are heavily racialized. You get it? Pan Mongol reunification is the only good take. China belongs to the Turks. Actually. Uh,一个这么民主自由的国家怎么可能会跟他们一样？那你觉得年轻的台湾人和老一辈的人，老一辈的台湾人在中国这个议题上面的看法，会不会有世代上的差距？哦，那肯定会有世代上的差距啊，
我曾经有，我有见过不止十个台湾的年轻人，他是能够比较正向的，或者是说比较中立的去看两岸的这些关系跟时事的。但我有遇到年纪很长的长辈，他们面对到大陆的时候，就是哦，对方是邪恶的，对方是错误的，对方是水深火热的。所以我觉得反而是这些呃观众或者这些一般的民众跟选民，他们接收，他们自己选择跟。平常自己生活环境所接触到的资讯来源，会直接影响他到对于整个两岸还有对大陆的视野跟角度。那假如说你现在要去中国玩或是出差，你是有办法自由出入他们的边境的吗？嗯、就是可不可以有没有什么特殊签证？就稍微解释一下。我们有台胞证。对，就是我们不能拿台湾的护照过去，我们要有一个台胞证。他现在，他以前是一个证书，但是现在变成一个卡。那个小卡就是说，哦，你可以进出这样。对，那我忘记是不是要自己去办，还是要怎么样？就用一些手续，额外手续。那个时候是旅行社帮我办的。你有试过，就是如果你在入境的时候拿护照，他们会怎么样？哦，这个不敢试，<笑>就是不行，怕出事。对啊，就是护照这个东西。Taiwan airspace has more population of mainland China's Fujian than Taiwan's whole population of 25 million. The tricky question is that the U.S. tends to enforce the top of the hour onto its civilians. Fuck you, fuck you, bro. God damn it! It was such a bad bait too. Like, why did I fucking read that? God damn it! I really need to stop reading. Everything I see in the fucking chat, you know what I'm saying? God freaking damn it, dude! But alas, at the top of the hour, there is an airspace invasion. You know, sound off the air raid sirens because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. That's the first one you got me on in like the past 72 hours. Now, if you no longer want to see those fucking ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free Prime subscription a month. You can also get gifted a sub if you're a good boy or girl. That's the only way to defend yourself from the top of the hour ad break. Majora's 94, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Here's the one minute ad break now. Milo TICM2, thank you for the five gifted subs. In China, it's not used to use it. We can go to a bar, what to do. In China, we have to use my identity. It's not a Thai card. You can't use it. 那除了申请签证之外，你觉得有没有什么其他因素是有可能会对于你出入中国边境造成 ？Yeah, this is this is the this is the Taiwanese airspace. For the record, this is the airspace Taiwan claims, and why the news is allowed to roam with China is in that airspace every week. Yeah. So when chatters say like, "Oh, China is like doing fucking,"、uh, China is entering Taiwanese airspace. That's, you know, okay. Millionaire, by the way. Cone in the pool foe today. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. <sighs> Only flights over the median is reported as incursions. You are misinformed. Yes, dude. Look at the fucking median. What, what do you mean? More accurate pick of the airspace invasion. Oh, I, I, I actually was gonna pull this up. Hold on. Um, fuck. It's a、uh, paywalled. I can't show you. 
Republic of China administrative claims. By the way. No flights in the whole box are reported as incursions. If they're over the median, the incursion location is also reported. If there are incursions over mainland China, then it's reported as an incursion. Source, former Air Force Intel. I did not know that. Um, can you explain something to me? I don't know anything about this. So when China says Taiwan belongs to them, I assume they may have some actual control over their government or is it just pressure? I don't know. What do you mean? When China says Taiwan belongs to them, I assume they have some actual control over their government. Well, they're just saying that those are like China's position is that those are their people in Taiwan. Some of which they fucking owned, like, you know, defeated uh, and, and some of which they sent there. OK, and they say that they own the land as well, like they control it. But as it stands, they can, uh, as it stands, you know, that they can have their own system. Okay, we already ran the fucking top of the hour ad break. Okay, please stop saying, stop trying to debate me. Current situation with Uyghurs in China is a genocide. I actually don't know. I'm not going to get into that right now. Okay. Um, you say it's like, um, what do you call it? You say it's like Puerto Rico, American Samoa, and any other American territory, but the main difference, but there is also an ethnic difference there where like the majority of American Samoa are, are still ethnically Samoan. Whereas there are still, uh, like Han Chinese people that live there, Chinese people, they, they all see themselves as Chinese across the board. So that's the, that's the difference. Also there, like, there isn't like a, like a historical, uh, precedent for, uh, the, the Puerto Rican constitution laying claim to the entirety of mainland United States of America. I should left this. I have a hard time seeing any other position than Taiwanese should decide for themselves, but I'm not exactly sure what the IOK policy wise in the U.S. Well, if you want the Taiwanese to, to put it themselves, then, you know, America should not involve themselves. Select the Chinese sorties into Taiwanese airspace. They went from calling it a genocide to cultural genocide, the cultural museumification in reference to the Uyghurs. Yeah, that is what the AP, that's what the Associated Press did. Um, as far as what Nancy Pelosi was doing, she was just being a fucking psycho. Okay? That's it. And there will always, you will always find people that agree with that kind of decision, no matter how insane it is. And what the American media will do is probably only put up people that agree with Nancy Pelosi's decision and portray it as like a black and white issue rather than a more complicated one in an effort to, you know, continue fucking doing the bidding of the American State Department, which is utilizing Taiwan as a cudgel against China, weaponizing Taiwan against mainland china okay in an effort to uh in an effort to undermine china's regional dominance in as china becomes the global hegemonic power that's it 
Al Qaeda. Now we're done with that part of the uh, broadcast. We're done with that part of the broadcast.